Good morning, guys. There are a lot of construction men outside my window for some reason. And I think it might be because they're trying to fix pipe or something. I don't know. Construction things? So, it's a reading day. I like every other day. I just got finished. Wow. Messing up my tripod again that I just set up. <laughs> Love that. So, it is 10.04 a.m. Just got my vlog up. I think it's up. I keep checking because it's not showing. Okay, so some people have viewed it. Okay, then it's fine. Probably, right? I don't know. Hope it's up. Hope y'all are seeing it. Hope you're loving it, having a good time. Wait, are these comments that tell me it's real? Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Someone just commented first on my video. Am I, like, worthy of commenting first? I'm gonna go like it be like you made my morning. <laughs> Is that weird? Carly you did so I'm liking it right now. This made my morning. That's just I don't know I feel like I've never have I gotten that before. I don't think so. Is this a milestone? Wow. So <laughs> Let's talk about reading. I got to 63% of House in the Cerulean Sea last night and I am loving it My plan is to completely turn off my phone with that forest app I've been talking about it's literally called forest if you're looking for one as well. I'm gonna grow some pumpkins. I'm gonna have a pumpkin patch today on that app and I am going to get coffee and just we're gonna finish the book. That is truly my plan. I'm talking to no one. Like all of my friends, sorry. We are doing something really fun though this evening. Well I'm doing it in the evening. I don't know when my friends are doing it but I know Lexi and Kaylin are doing it for sure and I think a couple more but I'm I'm nervous in front of new people so I'm doing it with Lexi and Kaylin and we're building like reading forts and I'm just pretty excited about it. I don't know how I want to go about it though because I don't have any extra sheets so I'll have to literally go buy some and I'm kind of like is that silly to go out in public just to buy sheets for a fort? Probably but I do need them. I mean we need more sheets anyways so it technically would be used but it's just like do I should I really do that? You know it's that kind of moment but I do think it'll be really fun to build one in general. I'm debating building it on my shelves in here or if I want to build build it in the living room, which then my partner will be very confused about that happening, or I can enlist them to help me. Big brain thinking, yeah, let's go. So I might actually do that instead because also th much taller than me, so that's probably gonna be great on the six foot shelves that um, he can actually see the top of them and I can't, so <laughs> what's it like? I think that we might do it in the living room then because he also wants to watch a scary movie this weekend. Well, oh, I assumed that. I was just asked, could we watch a movie this weekend? I'm not gonna watch a movie unless I'm terrified. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't like movies kind of ever unless they are scary movies. There's very niche movies that I'll watch. Like, I liked The Spy That Dumped Me, and then I liked the, that game night, sh like, movie with Rachel McAdams, where they had game night, and then they thought that it was a kind of, like, solve a mystery thing that the brother had signed up for, but he actually got kidnapped by, like, I think the mafia or something. So, I like those movies, but those aren't really, like, happening all the time. So, I prefer horror, comedy horror, and thrillers, and mysteries. Like, the most not murderous I get is Knives Out, and murder was the main plot point. It just wasn't occurring during the movie, you know? So, yeah, that's my movie taste, so we'll see what we can find. For the meantime, I'm gonna keep my rewatch of Good Omens going after I get this coffee, and we're gonna read this book, and I'm just gonna cut to it. We're just gonna do it, and we might unbox that owl crate later, just because I want to put it on my shelf, because that book, I've already looked at it. It's gorgeous. So, yeah, let's go. Let's go get coffee. Oh. So, Jake and I decided to rearrange my office and I want to show you because I didn't even think to like listen to an audiobook or anything with it. I'm so, so this is the door because I want to show you the actual door so you see where you're walking in and then tapestry, mini fridge because we're living a life and then these are all the leaves that I need to hang up and honestly rearranging this kind of made me want to do it. But here's my desk. So it was right here like going facing that way but I moved it here to kind of section it a little bit better and I love the way 
way it looks. This is turned around because while I'm sitting in my reading chair, I'm watching my pals with the Reading Rush vlogs. But now I've kind of hidden away my little side table and I'm actually gonna make this a TBR table, I think. I really like that idea. And then I have all my book sleeves right here that I can just pick one out. I do have a lot of graphic novels slash whatever, if those are comics or not, I don't even know, don't drag me, down there that I need to find space on a shelf for because I really want to. More book sleeves. I have some planners and my Kindle, don't know why. Then I have just this beautiful shelf right here and then all the other shell and Jake, my pal. So I just also hung up this string of little lights and there are like a a nice calming peaceful blue LED light. But it's all along the top and then it drapes down and then wraps around that. So I will show that tonight when you can see it better. But now I am done procrastinating. I literally vacuumed the dishes, did this. I have nothing else that I can do to not do anything. So this is, it is time, it is time. So they're still doing construction and I don't know why, but I finished the house in the Cerulean Sea. Oh my God. I don't even need to run it through my rating spreadsheet. I already know this is five stars. This was so cute. Everyone told me, I know, I know. And I did get a clip of me tearing up. So I now have three books that have ever made me cry. Book Thief, Night, and The House in the Cerulean Sea. Man, it got me. It really did. It really got me. So this is my one book of the year that I'm gonna cry in and now we're done and we've checked it off the list and uh, we're moving on. <laughs> no, but really. Um, this was absolutely amazing. I loved the writing style. It was very descriptive, but not to the point where it bogged down the writing, but what I liked is that a lot of the detail was in what the characters said and how they said it. So the setting and everything was described really specifically, but all of the feeling and emotions was in the word versus like he said coldly, she said stiffly, you know what I mean? Like it wasn't told that you, they were super happy, it was told, it was shown. And I just really liked that because I haven't read a book like that in a while. And I loved every single one of these kids. I'm so emo. So. Now that I have finished this one and my camera battery is flashing, I'm gonna have to go charge it. But while I charge it, I'm gonna read this. I believe I'm about 400 pages into this, but what I'm gonna do is I have another copy because I'm not fine, and I'm gonna reread the first 400 pages through the tabbing that I have because I have about 400 tabs in this book. And then I, I went through two packs of tabs, however many that is. That might actually be like 200 tabs. But I'm gonna reread that and then I'm gonna just keep reading and we'll see where I get for the day. So I won't, I'll be skim reading the first 400 because I reread them last week. Like literally last weekend, I reread these 400 pages and then I stopped because I wanted to include it in this vlog. But then I was like, oh wait, I don't wanna reread those again. So I'm just gonna look over my quotes and the stuff that I annotated and that I liked and then we'll get into reading and it's gonna be great and I'm very excited. I'm watching spooky ghost story times on YouTube right now and my house is clean it's cold not outside but inside i'm just i'm feeling good we're doing good we got two books left y'all two books left like we could do this we will do this i am i'm just proud look at us go look at it Stand tall, 
so why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by, but I think about you, about you all the time. Looks like you're changing and all. This is a reflection <laughs> of our aesthetics. Our? Well, the couch cushions were my idea. <laughs> What's the that? Those were my idea, and the shower curtain. <laughs> Okay, hi guys. I'm currently in Fort Halloween. Liveween. <gasps> Liveween. <laughs> so Lexi and Kaylin, like I said, invited me to create a bookish fort. I told my partner about it and immediately wanted in on the action. And this is brought to you by Much Better because, I mean, this is a shower curtain rod that we have for the guests shower and hadn't hung it up yet so we created a tent like thing here so i didn't have to like be huddled down the whole time i was filming this and then i just draped a bunch of leaves that i am going to use to decorate my shelves soon like in the back kind of and then it looks a lot better in the clips that i'm showing i promise it does but i figured why not use it to unbox my hello crate you know like like i feel like that's something cute to do with it so we're gonna do it so this is, oh lord, I don't even know which month this is. What month are we even in? I'm assuming this is probably July, because we're in July. Come on, big brain thinking. So, oh, I had already opened this and I took the card out, but here's the card. The theme, yeah, this is gonna be difficult to unbox in here, because it's kind of just dark enough that my camera's like, is it nighttime or what, girl? And uh, I can't tell you because it can't even focus on my face. But the theme is Date with Destiny. So this is a sci-fi book, I know, and I'm very excited for it. So the first thing I see are some paper clips, which are super cute. The little thing says, hope is the only thing stronger than fear, which I love that quote. And I believe this is Hunger Games inspired. So that is super, super cute. Then I have this little bag which i love this so much i don't know what i could do with this but i want to use this somehow but i'm not going to take it out because i'm literally in a fort but this is a foxway dinner apron so it's literally an apron but it's inspired by foxway which is from the raven boys where blue lives and that is one of my favorite series of all time so I'm really excited for this. Plus, when I bake, it'll be nice to wear this so I don't get flour all over myself. And then when my partner cooks, can also wear this. So that's great, that's nice. Ooh, then we have some tea. We can make, and it is decaf, so we could actually make this tonight. I think we should make this tonight, don't you? It is inspired by Simon from Carry On, I believe, which it's Simon's Sour Cherry Scones. I don't love sour, and I don't love cherry, <laughs> but I love scones. So this sounds great. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. It's decaf, eilon tea, rose hips, hibiscus, apple pieces, natural wild, cherry flavor, cherries, natural vanilla flavor. Oh, it's gluten-free, sugar-free, nut and dairy-free. So like everyone in the world could have this unless they were allergic to cherries. <laughs> or vanilla or the other ingredients so next we have our pin this says decide your fate which i do getting the owl crate pins because i have a couple of pin holders that i'm trying to fill up so getting one every month is great i'm also subbed to a patreon where you get a pin every month that they create solely for that patreon so that's pretty cool as well so that just adds on then we have a bookmark which has ray on one side and ben solo on the other side that's who i know this man as and oh, 
I love it. I love it. I'm gonna use this every time I read a sci-fi book now. I don't know if y'all are like this. I know a lot of people are like, why do you have so many bookmarks? You don't need that many. But like when I read a certain book, I want a bookmark that matches it, either aesthetically or if the characters, like if it's a series I'm continuing, I'll use the character ones that I match. Or like this is the only sci-fi based bookmark I have and I've been reading a lot more sci-fi lately so it's kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of cool. I, it's lame. It is. But it makes me happy, so that's what counts. And then next up, it's the new mug in the Owl Crate series. This one is titled The Boy Who Lived. I did not realize that these are dishwasher safe. That is so good to know. So let's get into it. Listen, bubble wrap. Ginger's gonna love her present. Thank you, Owl Crate, for Ginger. And here we have the mug. So this is not the best lighting for this, but I love this series of mugs. I love this look of mugs, honestly. I just think it looks so nice. So last but not least is the actual book itself. This book actually really matches the aesthetic of the fort, which is kind of cool, but it is Goddess in the Machine. I love finding new YA sci-fi specifically, which is I feel like that's oddly specific, but I just have realized I really like a lot of the elements that YA fantasy has in it, but I really like YA sci-fi. Like, I'm really branching into loving that. So, this is absolutely gorgeous. These gilded edges, wow, that picks it up really well in here. I didn't think it would. It's so beautiful. I don't know if there's anything on the actual book itself, but we can look. Oh, there's a little, like a little star thing. I don't really know, but I am excited to read this. I saw a lot of people in the Facebook group that I'm in that kind of like quote spoils these for you. It's called Sherlock Book Boxes if you want to know, but you just have to like fill out a little question thing and then they let you in. And I was not aware of this book. I have no idea what it's about, but everyone was like freaking out and so excited when they like read the clues and figured out it was this book. So that makes me even more pumped because I'm definitely someone that if I'm around people that are excited, like I get excited with them, which I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's lame, but I feel like for books, that's kind of fun and good, and I'm just having a good time, having a good time. So, yeah, that's my little Owl Crate unboxing. I feel like it was kind of fun doing it in a fort, and then also, I have the Charmander that I was very kindly sent for my birthday, and it matches, and Priory. I have a lot of orange in my life. It's because I want it to be Halloween all year round. I would turn into a pumpkin if I could. <laughs> I truly would. But yeah, so now I think we're gonna do some reading sprints. Well, I'm actually gonna go take my makeup off and shower because I just feel like I need to do that right now. And then we're gonna do some reading sprints and I'm going to be reading House of Earth and Blood. And maybe I'll read in here, I don't really know yet. Cause I don't know how comfortable this would be, but it actually is a little bit more comfortable than I originally thought. So. I might try it out, just a little bit, just for funsies, you know, for funsies. Yeah, I'm not reading in here. It's too it's, it's too hot and I want to take my makeup off. Okay. Goodbye.